this team that are going to get us underway. They're looking re relaxed. Big moment for them. They were seventh last year in Skate Canada, looking to do more here if they possibly can. Big cheer for Canada's Elizabeth Paradis and Francois Xavier Oulet. We wish them all the best. Not easy to skate first. Lovely phrasing of the twizzles there with the music. A nice, smooth, strong start into the Ravensburger Awards. Easily through the compulsory, the music working again really well. Makes a big difference. I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed that. A nice, clean start to this short dance. This uh, a team who really uh, came to the forefront last year in Skate America, where they finished in fourth place. Got their personal best score there, which uh, in the short dance happens to be a 52.11. But uh, what about you, Nick? I really enjoyed that. Yeah, a really good start to this event. Um, Good choice of theme, lovely connection at the start. And in particular, what stood out for me was the phrasing of the elements within that first vocal piece of music. It really did work well, particularly into the twizzles. There was a crescendo in the music. It was a subdued one, but it makes such a difference when the elements fit the music. That's you heard the audience applause because you just recognize how well that works. The Ravensburger was clean again. Finding a piece of music that the Ravensburger works with, it sometimes it can be a bit clunky, but in that respect, it really worked very well. The stationary lift, love to see that again. Could it be a little bit bigger? Could it be a bit more flamboyant, a bit longer? Not sure, it seemed to be quite small to me on, on first view. And uh, you really see some of the skaters pushing that six seconds to its maximum at times. So is there something there? The connection at the end wasn't quite the same. It, you get tired towards the end of the routine because there's no let up at all. But I think uh, overall, they'll be delighted with that. And going out to skate first can be an advantage after the warm-up, of course. 
because uh, there's no time just to get cold and be thinking about stuff. Yeah, they certainly look confident. These two train in Montreal with Marie-France Dubreau. You saw in the kiss and cry there. She's got a fantastic team. Of course, uh, she coaches the, the French team of Papadakis and Cizeron. We won't see them until uh, Trophy Bombard in uh, Bordeaux, which is the fourth event, so a couple of weeks' time before they really take to the ice. That's one of the dicey moments in the program, wasn't it? Just looked a little uncomfortable Because there. the first lot, I got maybe three and a half, four seconds in there. Uh, was, it, was it a jump after that? <laughs> Uh, it wasn't as clear and as clean as it could be. Well, 52.11, their personal best. <laughs> Looking at that technical score, it'll be, uh, it'll be tough for them to get that. But uh, they will certainly set the, set the standard here. So there it is, 47.77. 47. 